Lucy, and we've had some showers already here. We had a pretty good downpour first thing this morning in Tuscaloosa. And as we take a look at the wide view here, clearly plenty of rain associated with that uh, storm in the Gulf already affecting the panhandle uh, over toward the coast of Alabama and into New Orleans too. Now as we go in a little bit closer here on WVTM 13 live Doppler taking a most accurate look at current conditions right now and you can really see the northern part of our area is pretty dry, but as you go along in south of I-20, that's where we're seeing most of these uh, tropical-like showers developing here uh, into parts of uh, Talladega County and then uh, just to the north of Vincent inside the 459 corridor too near Hoover. We've got some pretty good rain here, Patton Chapel Road and just off to the uh, to the north and then it looks like maybe out toward Leeds as well. We've got some showers there. Southwest Alabama, south of Tuscaloosa, clearly you can see we've got some showers around west of Brent to two. So lots of spotty showers, but boy, are they heavy at times. Very tropical like it's in the 70s and 80s and humid 81 degrees and current currently in Birmingham, but 78 in Anniston. So the last advisory that was issued from the National Hurricane Center came out just a short time ago, and it is still a potential tropical cyclone. So they did not upgrade it. They haven't named the storm just yet, uh, but the, the uh, official forecast from them does strengthen it a bit, only to about 45 miles per hour, and it is possible that it does become a named storm really as early as later this afternoon or into tonight. The, the uh, track hasn't changed very much. Uh, you can see it uh, takes it in here into uh, Louisiana and uh, Texas and then continues to pull it up into Kentucky and Tennessee as we head into Saturday. We're on the wet side of the storm and so really what that means for us is that we are going to see a good amount of rain from this. We'll have waves of rain and thunderstorms and you can see across the southeast clearly some of the highest amounts down along the immediate Gulf Coast, but we could see through Saturday or Sunday two to four inches of rain in central Alabama. Take a look, look at uh, some of these forecast rain uh, totals and again over two inches in many spots close to three inches, maybe some isolated four inch amounts. And so what does that mean for us? That means that flash flooding uh, could be a concern as well as perhaps some river flooding too. So with multiple rounds of heavy rain through the end of the week and even into part of the weekend, those will be our main concern. We'll have to keep an eye out. There could be a very low end threat in some of our western counties, especially a low end tornado threat that is on Thursday and perhaps into Friday. So look at these rain chances. We're going to deal with scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, today again on Wednesday and of course rain likely on Thursday. Thursday looks to be the wettest day this week. Temperatures will be in the low 80s, close to 80 degrees with uh, with that rain likely on Thursday, and then we'll bring those numbers back up over the weekend. Eunice. Thanks, Steph.